So here I'm collecting cream. I'm making cheese for the first time in six months and I hope to get a half a gallon of cream to be able to make butter. Where's it? They got him clean. Yeah, <laughs> um, Welcome back to Bartaker's Farm. <laughs> this is my mommy doing cream. What can we make with cream? Um, we make cheese. Well, what are we making with the cream? What do we make with cream, Mama? What's that melty type stuff? Melt it. Melty type stuff. Yeah, you tell me. Butter. Butter. Oops, hold on. Let me eat. Now that. Mama, something's wrong. Look at this. It's kind of crusty. So, it's out of focus. Give it time. Okay. All right, that's three. One, that's a gallon two. and a half, and we have four cups. Of cream so far. You gotta get it right over here. Um, look at these empty ones you just used. And this is my baby brother. His big old face. No, I'm just joking. Yeah. Hi, if I put that one in there. I'm getting the cream off so we can show Audrey and them how to make butter. Look at that cream. I like using an ice cream scoop. Um, can I sit down? Because I'm good. I want to do it. Okay, hold it where mommy is. Oops, hold on. No. Hold it like that. Okay. Good. Good job. Hi. Mama said, we can clean. You put them out, make. Okay. And Look now, Mama. Making. Yep. So, we're making queso fresco, <coughs> two gallons in each Instapot on the stove. And I think it's the Duo Plus because it can go on the stove. Not all Instapots can. So, there are two gallons. That'll be four gallons each. I still need to get me a three gallon stainless steel pot because my cultures will culture three gallons. Yep. And so I could. All right, here is almost a full gallon of cream. Normally, and it, okay, well, unless I just want the cream and don't have enough, I go ahead and do full cream in my meal. But I don't quite have these both full, so I'm gonna get some of Violet's milk out. Yeah. This. Okay, so this milk came from a different farm. A friend of mine got a milk cow, I guess it's two, three weeks ago now, and is still learning how to, to do all they want 
with the milk and offered it to us to make cheese with. They're actually coming over tomorrow to make, learn how to make cheese. So I'm collecting a half gallon, yes, I'm collecting a half gallon of cream to help to teach them how to make butter. And then I'm making queso fresco tonight so they can take that home, but they're gonna learn how to make queso fresco tomorrow. Okay, sorry the lighting is terrible here. I've got my, from Homesteaders Supply, my culture. Uh, that's where in it grabs their own thing. But kids lice bait. Yeah. And oh man, I can't grab it. My mesophilic. Okay. My recipe comes from I'm sorry, it's so out of focus. Anyway, there we go. So homesteader. Dot com. My recipe, you can see down in the link, um, not the recipe, but where I got it from. It's very fun. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this on medium. Oops, wrong one. So, and you can see Wardy Harmon, uh, Bible based cooking school, traditionalcookingschool.com. And so let's get this going. My bad, I'm out of kids' lice bait. So I can admit that that's not as big of a problem. All right, I'm coming out here to lock Violet up so I can milk her in the morning. I was going to make queso fresco, but I was out of lice bait. And I think you can omit it, but I just made cheddar cheese. It takes about maybe an hour longer, the cheddaring process. Maybe it's like 40 minutes. I don't remember. But it's good, so who cares? And I have the ingredients for it. What I do to get Violet separated from the calf, and I like Violet in this area, um, because if it rains, I can milk her under the shed. Um, and this is her hay and water, and she requires a lot more of that than the calf. Oh, it's so mucky. Gunk. But we're making do. So I got to get the calf to stay and Violet to go. Violet does what she wants sometimes. And well, so does the calf. Go, go. Go, Violet. Come on. Ruth was trying to get out. Come on. Come on, Vi. Come on. Come on. Ah, got it. Yeah. All right. Ruth's not happy about it, but she knows the routine. So, sorry, Ruth, but your mama's mine too. So, here's her back. I can't really tell that much of her tonight, but she's starting to. I've lost most of her winter coat. She's still got a little right in there. But she's looking better. So now she can fill up on hay and water. And she has been drinking the water like crazy. I gotta clean. Uh, well, no. Since I'm making cheese. No, I'll take a shower. Never mind. I've got an hour. We got this for hopefully flies. But if it helps with mosquitoes, that's fine too. Because there are times I milk at night. Mm. Mosquitoes are bad. They're tearing me up. And so, 
just kind of clean this off a little. Um, I just wanted anything to help with bugs that was not chemical. It does get some flies, but not that many. I keep the little brush up there that came with it. That'll stay on. Here's our rooster that doesn't get put up. Good night, chickens. And lights out. I have the remnant in. It's staying at temp. And we are all good. So my friend has come. We've made lots of cheese. She now is excited to go home with her own cow and make cheese. Okay, so here is part of a block. Now, it was like this, but me and the kids have eaten this much. <laughs> this is cheddar cheese. I was going to make queso fresco. Um, I'm still new at cheese making, even though I've been doing it on and off for three years. But I don't quite get the prettiest mold ever, but it tastes good. I don't care. So, I'm still working on some things, and I think I know why. But I split this with my friend. She came over, and... This, you're like, but why is this cheddar cheese not so orange? Well, this is homemade, and if we had more pasture, and it's the heat, uh, uh, the height of pasture season, this might be a different color. But you can see there's different, there's more yellow, and the more cream in this, so if I had left all the cream, it would be real moist but this is still not dry this is nothing wrong with this cheese but Tyler instead of buying cheese sorry I had to sit my cup there that's what you're seeing instead of buying cheese now for his lunch he makes sandwiches I just get him some cheese so my friend came we made I made this block last night or the night before she came, sorry. The night before she came. So here is his cheese. I would like a different cheese press. I have just a Tommy mold, I think is what it is from Homesteader. I would like their more expensive one to make wider pieces of cheese and not as round. I would like a smaller and thicker, but nobody around here really cares enough but me. So, he will need five pieces. One reason I did not want to make cheddar cheese is because it was 8 o'clock at night when I started this process. And queso does not take as long as cheddar. But, oh well. I stayed up till 1 o'clock making it because I started it late because life happens. Cheddar is when you start in the morning, usually right after milking. But it's a really good cheese. I mean, it would melt fine. It's squeaky. I can age this cheddar or not. Obviously, I'm not. So he works five days, one two, three, four, five. There's his cheese. And it's thick enough. You know, there's our thickness. This is just the little cheese slicer I'm making. I'll put the rest of this up. It's not going to last long enough that I need to store it somewhere special. I just use a Ziploc bag. And I press or you can even suck on, if you're not going to share this with people, the um, extra air. But it doesn't last long enough that I care. And I have these by Norwex that work pretty well for stuff like this. And this is his cheese. And as much as everything costs in the grocery store, this is good for... Our family that we don't have to buy cheese we can 
still cost us. We still put feed into her, vet bills, all that kind of stuff. But here you go. So, let me show you our cheddar cheese curds. The cheddar cheese curds are, so, are moister. They're not as hard. They're almost creamy-like. You can see... Let's get more light for y'all. Sorry. You can kind of see how... Maybe you can. They're crumblier. Okay. These were not pressed. I put these in a bowl. And I, this bowl is from um, Pampered Chef. I have three of them. Because they are very handy. And so... You could fry these, you could freeze these, you could just chip them up, put them on a salad. But this is cheddar cheese. It's got a different texture than the sliced, that I, or that I just sliced. But they all squeak. That's just from the cheddaring process. So, sorry I can't let you hear that squeak. And yes, I just put some in my mouth. So, these are good snacks when we're doing schoolwork. All right, thank you for watching Borrowed Acres Farm. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, just kind of getting to see a little bit of what it looks like to be able to make cheese and um, how you kind of have to change it up sometimes because you run out of kids' life bait. So we appreciate you watching. We have more videos on cheese. We have videos on um just our cows, just our farm life. It's just random, I think, but it's just a little of us, and uh, hopefully we'll always get better at making. So if there's something you like, please comment. Have a good day.